Okay, now in reviewing our model of uh, uh, theory and how it ties to its component parts, we go with the the full model now. Okay, when, in reviewing uh, the model of theory and how it uh, how it ties to its component parts, uh, all that remains then is to discuss these last two components here, variables and observations. Okay, now with operationalization, we are making things more concrete, but we're not actually measuring them yet. We still don't have a, a vehicle, a mechanism to actually measure. What, what it is that, that we've now made more concrete. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, we pointed out that intelligence is a construct. Okay, IQ tests would be an operationalization, but the specific variables that go into defining what IQ is, okay, those would be individual questions on an IQ examination. Uh, another example, we talked about using a survey, doing a questionnaire, to find out how motivated uh, our employees are, the actual variables would be the individual questions. Uh, someone who scores high on a motiv one of the motivation variables, for example, when I get up in the morning, I'm just so eager to go to the office and do a good job. Someone who scores highly on that, do they also score uh, highly on affiliation with teams that are high-performing teams? Okay, do they also uh, uh, score uh, uh, highly with uh, uh, amenable to working in a self-managed environment, these kinds of things. So what we do is, uh, what, uh, with variables then, is we, uh, we actually identify the specific things that we're going to measure, that we're going to put into, uh, that uh, we're going to put into our analysis, uh, the different questions in the questionnaire, okay, the, the tie, the, the questions on motivation to performance, uh, the uh, tying the questions to what we call demographic, demographic variables. Uh, do males answer differently than females? Do uh, young people fresh on the job answer differently than people who've been on the job 10 years? And do they answer differently from people who've been on the job for uh, 20 or more years? Okay, those are the variables. Those are the, by, by looking at those variables, the, the, uh, the number of years on the job, okay, uh, the sex of the respondent to the questionnaire. Okay, the uh, scores that they have on motivation for four or five questions on motivation. Those are the variables, by looking at those variables and collecting data through observations. Okay, when someone's filling out a questionnaire, that's, that's a, a basically the stage here. They're providing us the data, they feed it into the variable, and then we can analyze that. And from that, we can take this basic information, this basic uh, insights we've developed at, this, at the ground level of our of our model here, and then we feed them back in and see how they tie back to the original uh, theory itself. So uh, by looking at the uh, actual data, the variables in the data, and seeing how uh, they fit and what they, uh, what they predict and don't predict and so on, are we able then to demonstrate the, uh, the validity of our theory, or do we say, well, the data don't support our theory? So overall then, Okay, what I've been trying to do uh, in these presentations is to demonstrate uh, uh, that uh, theory is not the same thing as theoretical. Okay, theory does not mean that we uh, have no, we're not grounded in reality. Okay, theory, in fact, is something theorizing, creating theories, is something that as, uh, as, that as normal human beings that we do all the time. That's our attempt to try to explain what's happening in the world around us. Okay, the only reason we're spending any time on it in, uh, uh, in this program here is because uh, we're talking about doing some serious formal research. And in that case, when you're dealing with serious formal research, you need to have a, a deeper understanding of what theory is and what its component parts are uh, so that uh, you can uh, uh, do, do good studies. Okay, studies that are cohesive, that are driven by theory. Uh, we don't want to uh, have studies where there is no theory. So if you try to research where there's no theory, you're just going to come up with mishmash. You're not going to come up with any kind of findings that tie into anything. So uh, our goal here is to, uh, to, to, to help you see that uh, theory is crucial. Uh, in your research efforts, you really need to constantly ask, ask yourself, okay, what is my theory and what I'm doing right now? How does it support my theory, okay, or at a certain point? 
uh, is my theory at this stage invalid? Has it been demonstrated to be invalid? In which case, I either change the theory or I walk away from that particular research effort. <coughs>